This may look like any normal home bargains, but it's in a hotel. What? In the hotel, it's in the side of Well, yes, to the side of the hotel. Let's go inside anyway. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK and another one of our awesome shopping vlogs and this time from Home Bargains and Claire, it smells brand new it smells absolutely brand new doesn't it? yeah oh, took our mask off to do it though um, so yeah, here we go, this will be a nice one you can actually hear, you can actually hear what we're saying for once usually it's like blaring out <gasps> wow, look at these interesting products so yeah, welcome to a shopping vlog on Food Review UK um, we are just to, well actually mask restrictions have just ended um, but we are still choosing to wear them in shops like this we're, uh, we're not wearing them in the cinema so we did uh, watch a film yesterday, The Suicide Squad which was excellent and we didn't watch them but yeah enjoy us as we look at some fun and some food so it's not going to be all food but uh, yeah chocolate orange let us know in the comments below if you're sick of chocolate orange what have we got here, have they got the new the new original sauce. Oh, here we go. Look, they've got the drumstick squashies. Do we need any of this stuff? Foam burst or anything? This is nice. A cute little travel size. Well, I say it's called fun, funny. It's called fun edition. Fun edition. I'm not sure what's fun about it. And I, I, to be honest, I'm not sure what's fun about that price point. That's quite high for such a small amount. Is that the same thing? That one's a pound. Bath and shower 500ml 99p, so that is 19.8p per 100ml. My mistake guys, the other one is hand gel. Hand gel? That's quite appealing actually, hand gel. Sensodyne, if they've got so, it's like a spearmint to be honest Claire. If they've got a spearmint I'd be right, I'd be right up for that. So I recently left my job at the share centre um, and just before I worked, I worked there for nearly 10 years. But just before I worked there, I worked at Schwarzkopf, and this was the new product that we were launching when I worked at Schwarzkopf. Um, yeah. Mm, getting the old tissues out. Tears for fears. Oh, it's quite a big store. But it is a bit far out for us. So I'm not sure I mentioned actually. This is in Farringdon. That's quite imp that was quite an important thing that I should have said at the start. Yeah, we're in Farringdon. Uh, which I think is near Oxford-ish sort of area. I think that sanitary towels are a good idea, period. So what do you say? It's not a funny towel. Well, the human body can be a wonder wonderful thing and sometimes it can be a funny thing. Period. No, not going to do it again. My wife said, come and help me put my tampon in. And I told her to get stuffed. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, actually, I'm going to try that again. I think it's going to be slightly funnier. My wife said to me, come and help me put my tampon in. I told her to stuff herself. <laughs> I said, no, I said, stuff yourself to it. <laughs> She's, she is not happy about it. Guys, we are big recommenders of the Dishmatic uh, heads. It's like a washing up brush, but it's the best one I've ever used. Claire, is it the best one you've ever used? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I don't think it's these guys. I don't even know what that, yeah, that is, that's got all of it in there. So yeah, you get this little stick, what they call a handle, um, and then it refills so you can keep just using new ones. In fact, there's the single. Have they got the refill? Well, they've got the, the, the things just, just there. Just the heads, I just need the heads. Yeah, just there, is that them? Yeah. Just the heads, oh, yeah. is that not them? Yeah. The centrals. Um. Yeah, so then you can just buy these guys, and they're, they're really good. The, uh, the handle holds a little bit of water so it sort of secretes out. When Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mummy get together, sometimes Scrub Mummy gets a white face. Uh, I do like Transformers. Had I ever considered that I might need Postman Pat Transformer, convertible Postman Pat? I hadn't, but there, there he is. <laughs> Good. Five ninety nine as well. Christ, eagle piggle, eagle piggle. By the way, guys, we did thoroughly disinfect before coming in, so that's why I'm being a little hands on with the eagle piggle tickles. Oh, here we go, Claire. We're into the food bit now. This is what you'll be interested in. 
the mallow bars not bad for, it wouldn't be bad for a review but i don't think we'll pick them up this time mini rolls mint chop mini rolls i think the there are a few items in here i've seen on instagram a couple interesting items those um rainbow cones are quite interesting baklava wow great to see a couple of flavors of coca noodles here spicy stir fry really nice curry i actually don't think i've had that curry one i thought i'd bought all of them from uh, ebay last year and um, worked through most of the flavors um, and they're really good um, I, I, I actually bought an entire case of the chicken ones though so I'm not going to buy any more today here we go, I found something that I'm actually definitely going to buy Cherry Burst Jammy Dodgers going to pick up some of these, probably review them because I love cherry so we'll try them these crunchy melts, the Oreo ones, are absolutely delicious I actually really highly recommend them here we go Claire, one for you, the Cherry Burst Jammy Dodgers Disgusting. Claire does not like cherry Chocolate Horlicks, one of my favourite drinks there. Favourite hot drinks, I should say, or I, I should clarify. Oh, this is interesting. Chocolate slices with raspberry flavour. They don't look, they look a little bit cheap, which, you know, a bit of a weird criticism maybe to make in, uh, in home bargains. This is interesting. Oh, it's very thin. What is it? Crunch wafer snack. How much, how many calories are, we're calorie counting at the moment guys, so, what we got? Can't actually see to be honest, oh there we go, no, basically can't tell, per 100 grams it's 500, oh, yeah, no not much to be fair, yeah I think we'll grab them, pick them up. If you hate your taste buds, feel free to pick up some of the uh, Cadbury Dairy Oil Bars, like the Banoffee Cherry and Frowny Brownie. Oh, sugar-free, shape up your summer with sugar-free candles, guys. Uh, what have we got? Tropical mango lime. Hibiscus sea mist. Oh, raspberry ripple. Let's go for a bit of, ra I'm going to go for a bit of raspberry ripple, Claire. Hmm, smells pretty nice. Sugar-dusted cherry. Hmm. This one's got your coconut in it. Oh, Island Bliss. That's coconut is it? Let's give that a whiff. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, not bad. Not some of the best flavours they had, but this is a brand that, you know, is very cheap and is um, somewhat mimicking Yankee Candle. Wow, I've just found a massive Finney display. That's awesome. Wow, look. Have I ordered cereal? Uh, I don't think I have, actually. Yeah, we might have a look at the cereal. Look at this, Licorice Wonder Mix. Oh, that's a really good little bag. 89p, I love that, that's a great find. Right guys, we're looking at Kellogg's Frosted Wheats and uh, Shredded Wheat. Which one's higher calorie, the one with sugar on or the one without? Well, funnily enough guys, it's actually the one with, the, the, sorry, the one, yeah, the one without, the, this one is less calories. So I'm gonna get some of these, Claire. Not too bad. All brand golden crunch. All brand golden crunch. I've never, heard, I've never heard of that, I've seen that. That's interesting, what is that? What is that? Does it have a description? 183 calories. Oh, that's high that is. Yeah, any of the non-wheat stuff is going to be quite high. Weetabix brand brand flakes, how many is that? 108. Oh wow, so those are lower than the shredded wheat. Oh, blimey, so maybe that's... A, oh, these are 110? Per 40 grams is that? Oh, that's 30 grams, that one, so that's less weight. Yeah, you've always got to be. Oh, that's 30 gram as well. Yeah, always, always compare like for like, guys. Don't be tricked. Oh, I like this, guys. Salts crackers. That's obviously a bit like Ritz. Oh, do not try these. These are dreadful. Yeah, not a good product. And for anyone who says, "Oh, you're a shill. You're only saying they're good because they sent them to you." This company sent them to me, and they're still bad. Um, so yeah, don't try them. Oh, here we go, guys. This is what we want, the confectionery aisle. Right, so let's see. White chocolate, sweet and creamy. Poppets orange. Poppets toffee. Poppets mint cream. Yeah, I was hoping they might have the poppets mixed, actually, but I can't see it here. That's a shame. they got the Maltesers orange buttons. Nice to see little boxes of the poppets as well. 
It's a brand that I really like, to be fair. <gasps> oh, they might have the new Fox. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, immediately I've seen the Foxes, but I can't see. What have you got? What have you got? Oh, Mint Collection. That's not it. No, I think it's like... I can't remember what it is. Like Summer Medley or something. Ooh, Hawaiian Mix. New Hawaiian Mix Mentos. I've not seen them before. Hawaiian Mint. Has that got coconut in then? What's that got? Does it tell us the flavours? Oh, it doesn't even tell us the flavours. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, well, there's watermelon in there. Lychee, passion fruit. These are low in calories, aren't they? Flumps. Yeah, well, there's nothing there, is there? They're so small and airy. How much are they? Um, I don't know which bit to look at. 81 or 73? Hmm. No, not that low is in it calories. Is carbohydrate or which sugars? Which one is it? Well, calories is what you want to look at. Oh, do I have 41? No. Huh? That's per 100 grams. Yeah, I know. Well, this is 20 grams. So. Oh, so a fifth of that. Where's the calorie? 341, so it's a fifth of that, so about 80. Mm. So yeah, no, not that, not that low in calorie, unfortunately. What else we got? Mini flumps. Oh, I might grab these, actually. Millions gummies. I'll probably pick up a bag of them. Big shout out to uh, Greg, aka What I'm Eating UK, because um, this is the Tokyo flavour Chub Chubs. Apparently, they're really good. So there's Rem uh, sorry, Ramune, Cherry Blossom, Strawberry Matcha, and Yuzu flavour uh, lollipop. So we picked up a bag of them. Right, I think our final section is going to be like the drinks bit. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Tell a lie, I've just found a little baking section and actually I can give you some, some information here. So we've got this particular product in the cupboard, Allison's Baking Flour. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'm surprised to see it in Home Bargains because I have to say guys, I made pizza recently and I usually use the Canadian bread flour from Waitrose slash Ocado. Wait, no, is it, wait, hang on. Oh no, maybe it's M&S. No, it's M&S. I think it's M&S. I'll show you it on screen anyway. Um, and the last pizza I made was with the Allisons, and it was no way near as good. So actually, I do not recommend this flour. Oh, Claire's, what, what have we got here? These are to take to Cornwall. To take to Cornwall. What are they, flannels? Yes. Nice. We're going to Cornwall soon, guys. Hope you enjoy the... Uh, <laughs> well, the, fingers crossed. Well, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, the best laid plans and all that. We've uh, had a couple of holidays cancelled recently. Well, not recently, but last year. Florida and Poland and Belgium and Europe. And funnily enough, we were off visiting the Thompsons today. You can watch our video on the, our vlog channel, Theme Park Life. And we had this as a, a drink. It's quite nice. They've got that new Vimto. Uh, what is it? Orange, strawberry and lime. That actually sounds quite nice. Uh, I don't think I'll try that one. Nah. I won't try that this time. They've got some interesting stuff here actually. Candy cane liqueur, snow fairy gin liqueur. Oh, this is the Manchester drink, so they do quite a lot of interesting ones. Palmer violet, uh, raspberry cream liqueur up there. That sounds quite nice. Claire and I quite like this big popcorn. It's quite good, isn't it? These uh, big night in ones, we've, we've had them before. Pretty decent, guys. Recommend them. What else we got? Prawn crackers. Some uh, Pringle options. And uh, as we see the crisps, including the Walker's crisps, we ponder back to a video that I've just filmed. Um, sorry, I haven't just filmed it, I've just edited everything that I needed before filming because it needed a bit of prep work about the flavours of crisps and what colours the bags should be. Which sounds like a really stupid video idea, and that's because it is a really stupid video idea. Um, but I put quite a lot of time into it, so check it out. I don't know if it'll be up yet. Um, as an example, guys, so salt is white, right? So my version of Walker's Ready Salted is white. Anyway, I think that's probably going to draw our vlog to a close. We'll do a closing outro. Claire's, yeah, Claire's being a Hulk strong man. I've made her hold the basket for a bit to assert my dominance in a foreign environment. Anyway. We will uh, yeah, say goodbye to you in a second. So that was it, home bargains in a travel lodge and just as it started to rain. So yeah, I just wanted to show actually, this is like the Farringdon uh, Henry Blake Way, I think it's called. You've got an Aldi, a Waitrose, and then a drive through Costa over there. So it's actually a really nice little shopping area. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. 
check out Farringdon if you want to come here and experience all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, a little shop in a hotel. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.